All right, topic 3.2, estimating quotients with two-digit divisors. If you have a really good foundation with the basic facts and multiples of 10, this lesson should not be too much of an issue for you. We're going to be working with compatible numbers. Remember, those are numbers that are close to the number in the problem, but they're easier to work with. For example, let's say we had a fundraiser and we're going to buy posters. Okay, the school has a budget of $147, and each poster is going to be $13. So how many posters can we get for the fundraiser? Well, we take the 147 and divide it by 13 for each poster, and that will tell us how many posters we can get for our $147. Now, looking at this, 147 divided by 13, you really can't do that in your head, but... If you look at it for estimating sake, uh, we can kind of look at it and come up with some compatible numbers here. So I'm thinking, why don't we do this? Uh, we're looking at 147 and 13. Why don't we just say 140 and then round this to 14? That's a good estimate there. But see how much easier this is? How many times does 14 go into 140? That would be 10 times. Or you could have even taken that problem and said, uh, just round it to 150. 150, and then looking at that 13, let's, that's close to 15. So in that case, too, 150 divided by 15 would have gotten you 10. So we can basically say that we would get 10 posters um, costing $13 each out of our $147. Let's do a couple more examples here. And again, you remember, you want to look at the dividend and the divisor, what you're dividing by, uh, to see if there is uh, some compatible numbers that will help you to estimate to find an answer that's close to the actual answer. So let's say, uh, how about 156 divided by 31? All right, so looking at this, uh, I'm thinking... Why don't we go 150 divided by 30? Easy to do that. 30 goes into 150 five times. The way I'm doing this is I'm looking at this number and this number and seeing if I can find something that they have in common, a multiple, and then adjusting my problem to get such here. All right, you try this one. Pause it, see if you can figure it out before you play my answer. Let's say 488. 488 divided by 76. All right, pause that, see if you can figure that out, the compatible numbers, and see if we match up. All right, what'd you come up with? Actually, I can see two possibilities on this one. Um, maybe 488, I'm going to say 490 and I'm going to round 76. I'm just going to round that to 70. I know it's rounding down, but the 7 and the 49 go nicely together. So 70 goes into 490 exactly 7 times. Uh, did you possibly come up with 480 and then dividing by 80? And that would get you because 8 and 48, we can work with that. How about, that would get you a 6. So your actual answer to this problem right here is going to be um, somewhere close to 7 and 6 with your actual answer. All right, try this one. 355 divided by 54. Ah, uh, the easy fives. Pause it, see if you can solve this one, and check to see if we match up. All right, I am thinking I'm going to take this, and I'm going to end up just going 350 divided by 50, and 50 goes into 350 six times. Did you get that? I hope so. Let's try one more before I turn you loose. Let's say 6,000. We're going to thousands here. 6,284 divided by 
93. Search for those compatible numbers. What are we going to be working with? Do you see it? I'm going to, I'll give you a hint. I'm going to go 90 over here. What am I going to do with this? 6,300. 6,300. How many times does 90 go into 6,300? That would be 7 times? No, we need another 0 in there. That would be 70. I mean, you can look at that too. The 7 times the 9, that's going to get me 63, plus 0 and a 0. 6,300 matches up with that. Okay? So, I'm going to have you try a couple on your own. See what you can do with these over here. Try them out. And I'm going to be looking to see that you get the same um, answer, uh, the same estimate using compatible numbers. So good luck, and I'll see you in the morning.